Alright guys, it's your boy D'Anthony. I'm back doing my own little solo thing. I appreciate you guys supporting our break room blitz. We have a blast doing those things, so please go ahead and subscribe and like some of our videos because we really need your support. But sometimes we have to do things on our own. We can't always see a movie together and we can't always do a review together, but you still need to know this information. So, I'm going to put it out. So I just want to go see Now You See Me Part 2. Now, I'm a big fan of Part 1. I liked it. I'm a big fan of magic. Always have been. Always wanted to know how to do the tricks. I used to actually even got into learning card tricks. Um, a few years ago. I was about like, I don't know, 21, something like that. And I had a good time. I knew like five tricks. So I'm, I'm into magic, so I like that genre. So, I was excited about seeing Part 2. But... Did I think that needs to have a part two? Not really. But I'm going to go see it anyway. Because obviously it did well. And the box office for them to have a part two. So in the movie we have Dave Franco. He's in uh, 21 Jump Street. 22nd Jump Street I believe. He's in Neighbors. One and two. Don't know if they need to have two. But he's in it. So they had Jesse, Jesse Eisenberg. And he just got through doing Batman vs Superman. He kind of brought that with him, though. He kind of brought that Batman vs. Superman, Luthor personality personality in this movie. Even like the hmm hmm, I'm like, why are you why are you doing hmm? I didn't hmm. He just kept having that like that tick. I don't know if he really has that as a tick. I don't know, but uh, he did it in the movie in this movie. Now you see me too, and I'm like, uh. I think he's to lead that with Luther. Luther should have just kept that one. So then you have Daniel Radcliffe, guy from Harry Potter. I wasn't a big fan of Harry Potter, but whatever. You guys might get mad at me about that. But I did watch 1, 2, and 3 to decide if I was a, a fan or not. That's, un that's as many as Lord of the Rings got. And I'm a Lord of the Rings fan all day. So, didn't like it. And I really didn't like his performance in this. It was iffy. Whatever you know, it didn't really need to be in there. Um, I'll, I'll go. I'll circle back around on that in a second. Mark Ruffalo is in it. He plays Bruce Banner in uh, the Avengers. So and a bunch of other stuff too. But that's just the most recent things. Um, I like him as an actor. So I'm always. I actually will watch pretty much anything he's in because uh, he got like this mellow, cool, like confident in himself. Not ne not necessarily like confidence, but like he's okay with who he is and what you know. I am who I am, so I like that his uh, persona that he brings to that. Uh, so then we have Woody Harrelson. He's in Hunger Games um, and a bunch of other stuff again. So we you know we have a pretty good cast. We have a newcomer. So we have Lizzie Kaplan in here. She's a new girl, the new feminine touch to the group. Um, she did okay to me. Actually, actually, she did. She did a good job. Actually, out of, out of all of the people, she there was a good. She did some good. She had some good acting. And of course, we have Morgan Freeman. We all know Morgan Freeman from forever. You know, <laughs> no, no need to say nothing else. Michael Caine is is in it uh, again. He came back. Um, so if you're a fan of his, you should watch it. He he pretty much just did how he always performs. He performed the same. You know, so if you like his style. He's in there doing the thing. Okay, now let's get to the actual movie. So the movie's called Now You See Me 2. And I'm kind of like, man, I wish I didn't. I wish I did not see you. I wish I would have kept my eyes closed. I wish I would have not turned my head. I wish that you were someone else. I wish you weren't there when I turned around and looked. I wish you were my imagination. And this cannot be happening. Wake me up. I, and I'm not even, I'm not joking. To me, the movie was terrible. <sighs> Just everything about it wasn't good. You know, they, they're they they acting as if they're like these action heroes now. They have all these action fight scenes and motorcycles. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Anyone performing magic at that level isn't fighting anyone. Not gangsters. That's not happening. Not any tough guys. They might fight, you know, the old man on the street or something. But in real life, they're not fighting. There's no need for any action moves. Mark Ruffalo cannot beat up ten people. Stop it. He's not really the Hulk. Stop it. 
as much as I like him, we did not utilize him the way we should have. And the first one, he was behind the scenes, he was the thinker, he was the FBI agent, and then all of a sudden, boom, turn around, he was actually in the whole group, in um, the eye, or whatnot. And this time, they just tried to make him do way more than what he needed to do. You know, I you couldn't make me believe that he was fighting 10 people and didn't get um, whooped on right away. So, didn't like that fact. So then, Woody Harrelson ha plays another character that's his twin brother. Oh, it killed me. It so killed me. I was like, oh my gosh, you could have got anyone to do that. Don't have him play another character. You, that's like insulting my intelligence. I know he doesn't have a twin brother. I know that. So, why would you put him in there playing another role of another guy in the same movie, in the same scene? It doesn't make any sense. This is not um, bad television. You don't need to have him playing a different part. All right, they gave him some curls. Like he's supposed to be the different younger brother. Or no, not the, not the younger brother, the twin brother, but like the more hip brother. It, that, that part right there when they brought his twin brother in sucked the excitement right out of the movie for me. So then, Morgan Freeman tells him to take me out of jail. I'm on a 24 hour leave and let's take an 18 hour flight to China. Does that make any sense to you? Why would we do that? that we're not going to get back in time. What, are you, what am I taking you out for? I'm just going to go to jail. I'm just going to... I, I, that didn't make any sense. There's no need to at least don't even say that. Don't even say it's a 24 hour leave. Say it's a week or something. You know, it, it just wasn't necessary and there really wasn't any need to even break Morgan Freeman out of the, out of the jail actually. Um, he played no real significance to the movie. He wasn't the one that was actually plotting against them. He wasn't the one that was actually making the moves or moving the chess pieces. So there was no real need for him to even be in the movie. Um, because he wasn't the main antagonist. He wasn't an antagonist at all. So, it just didn't it didn't make a lot of sense. And then, I really didn't, like I said, I didn't like uh, Daniel Radcliffe's, um, I didn't like his character. He didn't, he wasn't a bad guy to me. He didn't seem like he was sadistic or crazy or someone I should fear or anything like that. He was, um... He was more like the little the, the, the little brat that you hope gets beat up or you hope dies or you hope uh, someone overtakes him because really he's just abusing his power. That's what he was like. He was that irritating guy that tries to be uh, a badass and it really isn't. It's just, it, it, didn't, it didn't work for me, me personally because I know people who are badasses and that's not it. So... It didn't. It didn't work for me at all in any in any sense. He's in. He's in China, and the only people that I have issues with are European. Out of everybody who could run that country, or they can have issues with them, is a is is a European guy. So I'm like, man, we could have had an awesome Asian antagonist, but we missed that opportunity for sure. And we had some rinky dink, you know, guy that should have just stick with stick to Harry Potter but that's just me uh, you might not feel the same way um, to me the movie was mediocre there were some good parts uh, but being that we got magic and and really the magic is all camera special effects okay so but I'm already knowing that that's, that's okay but I like magic so it's, it, it's not a big deal but you definitely need to have a good story and a good plot, a good scheme, in order for me to get with the movie. All, you know, just showing me magic tricks, nah, it doesn't do it for me. So, to me, it wasn't a great movie. If I had to rate it, I would probably give it about, um, I do, um, out of five stars. So, I would probably give it a two out of five stars for sure I'm not ever gonna watch it again um, it's not something I would recommend um, to me it had no intellectual value and if you guys have been watching these um, 
these videos I do, intellectual value is very important to me. If there's if there's there's nothing that makes my intellect go, there's nothing that makes me think, there's nothing that makes me second guess, there's nothing that makes me say, Oh wow then it wasn't worth anything. It was predictable. You know, they put him in they put him in a, a safe and drop him in, in the uh the ocean. Of course he's gonna get out. I mean that's why even do that? I mean, I already know he's going to get out. It's not going to be the end of the movie. So, he gets out. And the thing is, he has, he has, he has one, he takes one more gulp of air, of air. And he can't even hold his breath for 20 seconds. Now, okay, granted, we're underwater. We're in the ocean water, so it's cold. But you took a whole breath. <gasps> and you couldn't last 20 seconds. You just passed out. I'm like, how you just passed out? He just opened up the door. He just took the breath, opened up the door, and now you should be at least trying to swim. He, as soon as he get out the, the, the safe, he just collapses. I'm like, yo, yo, what's going on here? It's like, it's like people can't actually, our directors nowadays can't actually shoot things underwater. Because we had the Batman vs. Superman scene when they had um Aquaman underneath the water. He just stood there and he wasn't breathing for sure. Which Aquaman, as we know, can breathe in water. And then this guy takes a, a one gulp of air, gets out into the ocean and it just collapse. Collapses. It probably was like ten, fifteen seconds. It probably wasn't twenty seconds. It was pretty quick. Take an air, open up the safe, I pass out. I'm like what? Swim! You just give up, giving up on life? But, again, that's just me. I could be tripping. I could be wrong. You guys could like the movie. But I feel like the ratings, this time, the ratings held up. It wasn't a good movie. Uh, maybe you'll love it. Maybe, you know, just the people in the movie will have you captivated enough. I don't really care about actual... Um, people in the movie. All I care about is the character. The person I can care less about. But the character, I need to be... I need to believe what they're trying to sell me. And I wasn't believing it. Alright, that's my review, you guys. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Check out some of the other videos that we have. Um, the Break Room Blitz. It's funny. We have skits on there. For every video that we're going to do, we're going to definitely try to do a skit. So if anything, if you don't watch it for anything but just the skit, watch the skit. Let us know if it's funny or not. We can definitely use that feedback. Uh, check out uh, Don and his traffic uh, segment that he does. He does a really good um, um, review segment. And we, we need all your support that we can get. So like, subscribe, share us, put us on Facebook, email us to your grandmother. Anything that you want to do is, is, is a great help. So thank you. I appreciate you guys. And I'm out. D'Anthony. Peace.